that doesn't bode well. So let's go right to the banner since the event actually doesn't bring us anything new. Uh, we got first banner, selfies USB. Zero cast time, Medica, H65, party guts, high regen. Uh, it's not a bad USB. Um, high regen kind of spoils it. It's not bad, but it's more like a Super Soul Break than a USB for the Zero Cast Time Medica and Party Last Stand. Um, they've thrown Last Stand on a few USBs, uh, specifically Yuna's and uh, Echo's. Echo's is obviously the best of them. Um, I'd probably choose this one over Yuna's though. So out of the three, well, I would rank them uh, Aiko, Selfie, Yuna. Um, and next on the list, we have the highlight of the banner, which would be Squall's BSB2. It's eight single target, ice non elemental physical damage, and ice and burst mode. The commands are screwed up, but they're screwed up in a good way. We have a first command of two single target, ice and non elemental damage, and self junction plus one to a max of plus three while burst mode continues. Um, so this is basically charge and then use the charges here. However, uh, you don't expend the charges like you do with other similar things. Um, you keep the charges. So what you would do is junction yourself up to three and then use the second command for um, as many times as you can until the burst ends because uh, the amount of damage that this will do will actually out DPS um, well I think everything that that squall can do so it's it's that powerful and that's why this is the highlight of the highlight of the banner uh, the only way that an OSB would take over this in damage done uh, would be if it exceeded 70,000 damage because you're going to be doing seven hits. Um, I'm going to assume though, unless you're keeping up burst mode the entire time, there's a point where getting three stacks isn't worth it. Yeah, I'm sure there's a point, yeah. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, it's just really, really good. I guess here you go. I, I have a I have a good idea because this one's easy to display how strong it really is because I have a saved thread. So this is an old evaluation of physical burst soul breaks and the amount of damage per second they do over a certain amount of time. Right, right. That's why the 70k is, is that good. Unless it is like this, the last or the second last hit of the fight then this will exceed the potential of his OSB. So yeah, this is, uh, we're doing math percent right now. Um, this is a quantitative analysis of physical burst soul breaks. It is not up to date, uh, but it's good enough just to show how disgusting his burst is. Um, these are, when this was written, uh, the best and highest damage output burst soul breaks in the game. Uh, we had Squall's at the top, Zell, Refia, Master Monk, Yang, Ayame, uh, and Amarant with crit buff. Um, so, Zell and Refia do a whole lot of damage. Uh, Master Monk, too. And they can't even come close to the numbers that he was able to put out because of uh, how he is. And Squall only gets better because he has the ability to double cast Spell Blades at one point. Um when he can double cast spell blades that also applies to his first command 
so that allows you to stack junctions faster, which is very important because that allows you to get more attacks in at the end of the burst, uh, doing seven hits. So it really, really accelerates the amount of damage you can do. And imagine just being able to do the seven hits of OSB level damage uh, and double casting that. So um, Squall's USB, which will be coming out in the next banner, uh, next Final Fantasy VIII event, uh, isn't all that good compared to the other main character USBs. And this is why Squall earned S-Class, is because this is all Squall needs to be as good as he can be. And he only gets, well, I, that's not completely true, but he gets a little bit better uh, with his USB. But even then, I don't even know if I would bother using it. Alright, uh, another question. If you're going to burst again in the middle of a burst, do the stack stick or does it reset? I feel like they would have... I'm pretty sure it resets. If it doesn't reset, then that's... I mean, it would say so down here. Why is Squall just ice when overs are called and, uh, and fire earth? Yeah, I, I feel like it resets. So this is what they had to say after doing the math craft. Okay, Squall's second BSB is completely ri ridiculous, like overpowered as fuck. It's better than the next burst will break by 50%. When he uses first command three times, the second command becomes a 7 times 1.25 or an 8.75 attack. Considering an element, this becomes a 13.1 attack, which is stronger than typical OSB. A typical OSB would be 12.0. I don't really like that comparison. Because if you're considering an element, the OSB becomes 18.0. Uh, so it's not stronger than OSB. But it's it's stronger than OSB without an element, yes. Um, and you get two uses out of it. Because generally you're going to be getting um, five commands. So you get one, two, three of his first command. And uh, three and or four, the fourth and fifth command will be his second. Uh, unless you're double casting. Or unless you have someone in the party that has uh, insta-cast. Like, uh, like Realm, or Noctis, or Ryzen. Uh, they can give Instacast to the party, and that uh, allows you to fit in more things during your uh, burst mode, which uh, obviously increases Squall's damage output by even more. And it uh, has a 25% crit chance that uh, is a plus. It's not a crit fix. So if your party does have a crit, ch uh, crit chance, like from Aiko, for instance, uh, that will make it a uh, plus 25% up to a 75% crit chance. Uh, running Orlando's RM3. Uh, this is one of the good... This I don't really care for Orlando's RM3 for the most part because you can usually squeeze out more damage from other RMs. Um, but again, being able to cut down cast times and squeeze in more commands allows Squall to do more... Uh, the more times he can use that second command, the better off you are. That's really the name of the game of Squall's BSB. Rip enemies. That is Squall's Bristle right there. Uh, next up, we have Irvin's um, Bristle Break. Fire non elemental, area of effect. Uh, enemy attack defense minus 40% in burst mode. That's a pretty good debuff. Uh, I mean, right off the bat, we see that Irvin is an attack focused, uh, like, a physical focus support because of this burst. And he has what I believe is the best part of the burst is he has stacking commands. One is attack and resistance, which is a fairly rare debuff. And uh, the second one would be magic and defense, which is also quite damn, quite rare. Um, this is Van's debuff, and we already know how rare that is. However, if you are running Van, you don't want to be using this command. Um... It is a good burst, uh, sullied a little bit by the fact that it is on Irvin, um, and that's all. But, um, yeah. I really don't like Irvin as a character, and I know he doesn't get developed very much in the future. So even though this feels like a good burst, I, I don't know, I, I would not view it as a, as a win on the banner. So I think there's just, uh... There's better things we can be pulling on uh, as far as support bursts go. Uh, Selfie's Burst Soul Break 2, I mean, it, 
it buffs. It's just really old. That's that's a problem here. Uh, is it gives party magic and mind 30%, but doesn't do uh, any healing. So as a healer, this is uh, a full soul bright cast of her not actually helping the party. Um, as a healer, where Yuna and Porum, even Porum's uh, burst that just debuted on the second Final Fantasy IV event, give magic and mind 30% and do a cure medica to the entire party and have a medica command uh, as a C2 on both of them. This just is trying to shoehorn Selfie into being an attack mage, where she buffs up the party and does damage, and then well, you have her commands, which uh, ally Kiraja plus high regen, which isn't terribly useful. Um, much would just much prefer a zero cast time Kiraja instead, and two single target holy white damage, uh, magic damage, and dispel. So really, this is the the thing about Selfie's burst is that dispel. It's kind of neat sometimes. However, they're trying to make her an attack mage, but she ends up not being much of an attack mage, uh, and that's Selfie's problem here. Um, really, if you want Selfie the healer, you want her USB, um, and her her magic blink super soul break doesn't even appear on this event, which would be a nice benefit for her too. Uh, allow me to check the next event to see if sel selfies. Uh, and I know her stuff doesn't appear on that banner, so it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, so this would this is a miss. I don't think there's uh, many people out here that would actually consider this a good relic. Uh, Adia's Sorceress Dress, um, five sing single target dark damage and pearl dark. Uh, it's okay. The thing about Adia... Yeah, you know? <laughs> I used to really like this, uh, because th there was a time when Dark Mages reigned supreme, because they're the only ones that had a 5-star five, uh, 2-hit five attack, and I liked it back then. I don't really care for it that much now. Um, it, it's more complimentary, so this is a complimentary piece to Reverse Soul Break, when the, giving her the an added ability to use... So reverse Soul Break uh, can attack Ice and Dark. So if the enemy is weak to dark, then you're do still doing decent damage, even though you're not getting the end ice that's on her burst. However, if you're in a torment or full throttle situation, situation versus something that is 50% uh, uh, weak to darkness or weak to dark, then this would be useful. It's just a really, really rare scenario where this would be useful. So I wouldn't consider this much of a hit, and I want to see this on a banner with her burst soul break on it. Um, and since it's not, then not much of a not much of a win there. Uh, Rise and shoulder guard, shoulder guard. As I was saying, um, and this is a little added benefit. Like I was saying with uh, Squall's burst soul break too. Anything where you can give the party instant cast one increases his damage output potential even better because uh, that allows him to fit more commands in during his burst mode, and that's where this comes in. So this is a, a nice addition to that. And this is still, to this day, um, considered one of the best Super Soul Breaks in the game, uh, in Japan. Just because of that party, Instacast 1 and Guts are also known as Last Stand. And it is a plus lightning armor. That's what the little 4 superscript says. Um, so it's a nice relic, and it's a very good Super Soul Break. And it does go together well with Squall's Burst Soul Break too. So that's a, that's a nice thing to include on this banner. Urban's Exeter is a nice thing for him to have. Um, it's great for Sid missions because Irvin as a full support can stack full break with this and just really hit the boss hard. Um, and otherwise it's a good complementary piece to his burst soul break for um, full throttle and torment when you have extra soul break available to you. Next up, we have Zell's Crystal Glove, which is uh, a surprisingly still good Super Soul Break because of that zero cast time, uh, eight times single target damage, and gives him a fairly unique buff in attack resistance, ugh, attack resistance and defense. Um, it makes him pretty high damage. Uh, it's more um, a 
complimentary piece to Zell, so it's just something that he can cast and give himself that buff uh, while he's using his Burst Soul Break, uh, but it is also a good Sid mission item too. Uh, and Quistus' Beast Killer is Party Haste and Quick Cast 3. I guess it's okay in a Sid mission scenario because you don't, you, you're not going to say no to Party Haste, uh, but it's obviously meant for um, a Final Fantasy VIII Mage team, which is okay because there's a lot of good Final Fantasy VIII Mages. Um, so this is alright. Not as good as the others as far as submissions are concerned, though. Um, she does have a, a much better Super Soul Break, though. That's why I generally frown upon this. But it, it, those are also old, and it's uh, tough to come by those now. And that would be her Mighty Guard 8. So, how do I feel about this banner? It's good. It's good because it has Squall's Burst Soul Break 2 on it. However, there's a lot... The, the high end of the banner is what worries me. When you have Selfie's um, Burst Soul Break, which is just bad in general. Uh, Irvin's Burst Soul Break, which is a good Burst Soul Break and makes him a serviceable uh, support. It's just... It's bad for the future, I guess. Uh, it'll feel good now, but it, it it gets overwritten, I guess. That's by better things that come. Um... And better things that we already have, like Setzers. Uh, Irvin can only use daggers and guns, and maybe something else. Probably, I don't know. It's probably just daggers and guns. Uh, so, it's a good burst. Just an iffy character, so I can't give it a, as, as good of a grade as I want to. Uh, and Selfie's USB, at least is zero, is a zero cast time Medica with uh, Last Stand, which. Is a, is a good Super Soul Break. <laughs> Just to shave that U off. The high regen is okay. Um, and again, I, I guess it's more like how we feel about Irvin. Is Selfie is one of the worst healers in the game. So having this on Selfie just means that you may use it for a little while, but it's going to end up on your bench eventually. And sooner rather than later. Uh, next, we have Renoa's Twin Viper. Uh, someone asked in chat earlier in the stream if Renoa's OSB was coming back, and it is. I don't think Lemonade Sparkle is here, because she's the one who asked. Um, but it is. There it is. Uh, the five is our RS, uh, Record Synergy only, Realm Synergy only, uh, plus Earth Damage, so uh, we don't like that. Um, Earth Not Elemental Damage, which... Which stinks. Uh, this is probably either the worst or tied for the worst um, mage OSB in the game. So there you go. Uh, Laguna's Burst Soul Break is actually kind of interesting. Uh, it may be, as far as pure damage is concerned, the best Imperial Lightning for physicals in the game. I, it, I would ultimately like Lightning's better because Lightning is just a much better character. But Laguna isn't bad. Um, and he gets to do some interesting things with his Imperial Lightning. Uh, lightning and Elemental, ranged physical damage, uh, and Imperial Lightning. Let's take a look at the commands. We have Coochie Coochie treatment, uh, four times single target random, uh, Lightning and Elemental, and low percent chance to inflict paralysis or silence. Don't really care about that, but it is a four times single target ranged attack. Uh, however, random on a uh, burst command is not that great. Um, but the highlight of his burst is the next one. And that would be the one time single target range, lightning and elemental, and self instacast machine is two. So, what you're going to be wanting to be doing with uh, Laguna is using the second command and then using Tempest Snipe, the six hit machinist uh, lightning ability. Um, at instacast speed makes up for the fact that this is only one hit. So you use this, two of those, use this, two of those, and then um, then probably fill in the rest of the burst with some of these. Um, it actually makes some fairly decent uh, damage output, and that's why he will ultimately do more damage than Lightning will with just her burst soul break too. It's just the Lightning's full package is uh, so much better than this. But it is a good fairly decent burst. Uh, Seifer's Burst Soul Break is uh, a Sentinel Burst. Turns him into a real knight. 
Well, no, he starts out as a real knight, but Sentinel, I, I guess, is true knight status now. Um, Dark Null Elemental Burst Mode. This is the uh, You Hurt Me and I'm Gonna Hurt You Burst, where the first command is four times single target Dark Null Elemental, uh, and it reduces his defense by 50% and reduces his resistance by 25%, which is not as bad as it sounds because the Sentinel gives him plus 200% defense, so it's mitigated by that. Um, but the, the highlight of his first command is it gives him a Radiant Shield, and it's, you can stack it. And I believe it's the only stacking one we have in the game, where it starts out at 100%, so all the damage that he takes, the boss will also take, and every time you use it, it gets plus 25% uh, Radiant Shield, so use it once, you start doing 100 damage mirrored back to the, to, to the boss. Um, and each time you do it again, it'll you know you can get up to 300%. So if you take uh, 3,000 damage, uh, the boss takes 9,000. So uh, it's kind of neat, a little impractical, unfortunately. Um, and it is nice on this burst in particular to have the one-time single-target drain strike uh, because he's probably going to be in panic mode, trying to heal himself up as as long as he can deal damage to the enemy. It's, uh... It sounds really cool in theory, uh, but in practice, it unfortunately doesn't really add up to a lot of other better forms of Sentinel Bursts. Uh, specifically, stuff like Agrius and Beatrix, where they can Sentinel with their first command and then use Guardbringer to take advantage of their, uh, their Holy Imperial weakness. Um, and other Sentinel Knights like Gladiolus that has a command that you, the second command gives him Sentinel while his first command gets more uh, attacks on it uh, depending on how much defense you have and the plus 200 of defense for, from having Sentinel really helps out with that. Um, they could have made this better but it's so weird I, I guess I just felt they probably just felt if they had made it better it would have been overpowered I don't know I mean, this is just the the product of bad testing, <laughs> and um, they chose to make it underpowdered instead of overpowered. So next we have uh, Fusion's Burst Soul Break, uh, definitely the, the highlight of this banner. We have um, a very well known, very well known Burst Soul Break now. Wasn't so much then, back when you know people. She's a minor character in Final Fantasy VIII, so people ignored her banner for the most part. But uh, now people know better, and um, this is one of the best bursts in the game. With its uh, zero cast time, uh, magic and resistance, minus 40% deep buff. It, is, it makes her the van of mage parties, and um, the, the commands are great too, because they're both ninja cast time. One is four single target. And the second command is one single target, but reduces is a is a resistance uh, or a mental break, uh, so that also helps. So she's high damage, not exceptionally high damage, but when you factor in that she's reducing the boss's resistance by 15% here and 20% here, uh, that increases the output of the your entire party, and uh, she more than makes up for it for it there, as well as mitigating their magic stat. Um, yep, it's one of the best. Uh, Renoa model. This is new. A super soul break that gives her an earth. I suppose people think that this is going to uh, elicit some combos uh, with her doing an earth there and having an earth overflow. However, it's 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 decent on a character like Terra, who has access to to wrath, and only just so. Uh, with a character like Renoa, um, there's there's no way you're getting what you need to out of this combination. So this Super Soul Break actually just ends up being bad. Just straight up bad. However, uh, it is 20% earth damage up, and it is light armor for magic users. So uh, Maria people out there, um, this is something to look out for. However, um, a lot of the best stuff on this banner does show up in the next event on a much more well-rounded banner. Um, Renoa get, actually gets decent things. Uh, Fusion gets her OSB as well as her BSB and all of her, all the rest of her stuff, um, as well as her Legend Materia. Um, 
So if you're a Maria user and you would like a magical earth armor, this is a nice target, but I'm going to go and take a look at that banner for you guys right now um, after I'm done taking a look at these so you can see uh, the comparison with the next event. Uh, next we have Sir Laguna Sirius. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got a couple of these. Uh, six times single target ranged. I have five of these. Oh my goodness. Um, party attack, 50%. It's nice in submissions, and it'd probably be good if you would ever consider using Laguna in a torment or full throttle situation, because that's a nice buff. Uh, however, you know, uh, Fujin's Jacket, uh, I use this together with her burst all the time. This is not a forgotten Super Zol Reich. This gives her end wind. The jacket itself is plus 20% wind damage. It is zero cast time. Um, and she is a support 4 mage, so it makes uh, the possibility of using her Super Soul Break and her Burst Soul Break together even better. Um, seeing both of these together on the same banner is always a good thing. Yes, aces. Um, Seifer's Gloves, excellent relic. It's a plus 20% dark damage relic. Um, attack focus, but works for both. So uh, a really nice relic for Sid Reigns users. Um, and the Soul, Super Soul Break itself isn't that bad either. The self minus 30% defense is not exactly what you're looking for, but the party attack magic 30% is a really nice thing to have as a submission scenario. Uh, and Laguna's Vega is a nice Imperial Ice. Uh, as far as I know, is still the best Imperial Ice in the game, and maybe the only Imperial Ice. Um, uh, but that does change eventually. Uh, how do I feel about this banner? This banner is not good. Um, Fujin has some great stuff on the banner. And Renoa's Earth Armor is really nice. Uh, just as a, a relic. Because it's rare. It's very rare to find Earth Armor. Um, so we got two things for Fujin. A Renoa Relic and a Safer Relic. However, it's just the top end is just not desirable as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Laguna's is the best other than Fusion's. Um, just... Yeah. In about a month and a half, there's going to be an event with that aforementioned uh, Lightning Burst Soul Break 2 that is going to blow this straight out of the water because it also provides Lightning's uh, USB, which combined with her Bristol Break 2 uh, turns her into an excellent, excellent character. Um, and the banner itself is all around one of the best that we have in the near future. Uh, I don't like the banner. The first banner is definitely better. Um, and this is a weird one. It's a, it is obviously a trap banner. No, a trap banner is not the right word. Uh, honeypot. It's a honeypot banner. We got we got the sticky gooey honey in uh, Squall's Burst Soul Break 2. And not a whole lot at the top end uh, that's all that enticing around it. Uh, the best parts of the banner other than the Squall's uh, Burst Soul Break 2 are down here at the bottom, which are good submission things. So, I mean, I can't make this decision for anybody. Um, if you want to go for it, I, I just wish you good luck. I wish you good luck, and I applaud you if you pull his burst. It is, uh, it is excellent. It is very, very excellent. Uh, so I'll go take a look at the next event right now, just in case uh, you, you're considering possibly skipping this event um, because of the uh, approaching Cloud USB and the Extreme Fest and the Lightning Banner. And the Celis banner, oh, man, there's, there's a lot of good stuff coming. And that's why I can't get that excited about a banner like this. Um, let's see, what is a Squall's USB? Love Guided by the Stars. Um, Safer's USB. I don't really care for it, but Squall's USB, so 
help out Squall a little bit. What's that one mean? It's probably RS, isn't it? Ugh. It is. Uh, Squall's Axis Blade. It recurs. Seifer's first Soul Break, so obviously this is Squall and Seifer Banner. Um, these don't really play right together. However, you are going to be sentinelling with Seifer, so you will have Soul, soul Break Charge to possibly use both of these together. So that could be good. And the end arc helps too. So I guess this combo isn't that bad. Just because I'm seeing it occur at the same time on the same banner. Quisis's burst is good because Quisis is a good mage. Support for mage. Uh, Squalls start the battle with a nice legend materia. Normally I don't like this legend materia relic. But in Squall's case it's not bad because you remember when I was talking about on the quantitative analysis it talked about uh, how using uh, Orlando's last RM on Squall uh, starts him out immediately. Oh god, never mind. Because then you'd have to... yeah. No, it works. It works. So you would use this, and you would start out the battle with doing um, thirded cast times, life siphons, and then using his first soul break, and you'd probably have enough time uh, left with uh, the Thunder God to have a great fir g first g <laughs> first burst soul break, and uh, that's nice. So never mind, that's good. So the, he is one of the few people I believe, I feel at least, that can make uh, really good use of this because he is a good character to use Thunder God on. Um, Safer's Legend Material Relic up to this is a bad one. Uh, Vega, you just talked about that. Seifer's Gloves just talked about that. Uh, whoa, we have a reoccurrence of Mighty Guard 8. Uh, one I talked about on the first... Could have... Should have been on the first banner. This is actually a good Quisis relic. And Crescent Wish, uh, probably Selfie's best relic. Is, uh... Pretty old, but, uh... Will always be good because of Medica... Kiraga Medica and Magic Link. Um... I think overall this is a better banner, but... It's also three months in the future, so... I mean, Power Creep makes it a better banner, so I, I don't know if I'd wait for this. You you decide. <laughs> uh, I'd be okay with going after the Axis Blade in either place. Uh, second banner is just much better. Um, this is an actual excellent banner. Uh, we have Renoa's. Uh, CSB, which is actually good. Thank you for the follow. Donuts Pie, I love your name. Uh, so, Renoa is the owner of the Ice Limit Chain. And it gives Party Quick Cast 2 and X Base Ice Limit Chain. Sure, it's pretty simple. Um, Fujin gets her OSB. Uh, nice, because it g increases multiplier when uh, attacking a weaker impelled. Uh, enemy. Uh, however, it is only RS wind damage up, so her best uh, relic that you will be using for her is still her burst soul break, um, augmented. Um, Renoa gets her burst soul break too, which is actually okay. It's not a great burst soul break, but it's still uh, an, a nice burst soul break. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into the banner, I'm just going to comb over things. Fujin with her burst soul break, we already know that's excellent. Idea with her burst soul break, we do know that that is excellent as well. Uh, Renoa's arm warmer, uh, it's a bad legend material relic, um, and has ice resistance on it. That makes sense, it's her armor warmer. Uh, Fujin's bracer, raging wind, start the battle with M wind. Uh, it's okay if you end up using, um, Mako Might on her to get out her debuff immediately. This would be a great thing to pair with that. Um, she is a support mage, so you sometimes will be uh, spending the beginning of the battle wrathing instead. However, she is a good candidate for uh, a striker, just because of the amount of soul break she can generate with wrath and her uh, quick commands. So. Even though you will be starting with M Wind and using Wrath, which <laughs> there's no synergy there at all, uh, you will be getting off or getting into your burst quick enough that this is okay. Um, 
Renoa's model, like I said, on the second banner of the the, the event that's coming. Um, this is a good relic, and it appears on a better banner here. Bujin's jacket as well. Raijin's pauldron. This is, uh, again, a great Super Soul Break, and it occurs here. It is weird that it occurs here, since every relic on this banner is Fujin, Renoa, or Adia, but I, I'll take it. It's fine. Uh, and Adia's Sorcerer's Crown, uh, and like I said on the first banner of the last event, it would be good if this Super Soul Break occurred with her Burst Soul Break, because that is, uh, if I had that, that would be a decent time for this to show up. And, what do you know? It does. Uh, this is a quality banner from top to bottom. Almost everything here has a strong use or a strong complementary uh, to the rest of the rest of the banner, and it is fairly strongly themed in wind for Fusion and ice for Renoa and Dia. So if you are looking to shore up those elements for the coming Magicite dungeons, this would. It, I believe it has been reported that this is the best ice banner that we have available to us um, before we get to the Magicite Dungeons. It is three months away, yep. <laughs> 